there, I'm Eitan, and welcome to Wix Fixer. This is another video in our Wix Data API series, and specifically, we're talking about Wix Data Query. We've talked about a lot of different ways to query a database, and today we're going to be talking about how to either refine or expand that query using the AND, OR, OR methods. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so we're back here in our demonstration. And before we get started, I just want to explain the general concept of AND and OR. Uh, so in the case of an AND, we will be refining our query. Okay, that means we'll be making our query smaller because we have to have two things, uh, we have to have two conditions met, A and B. Okay, so that means, let's say, for example, we're going to have to have age is also below 35 and the person uh, is female. Okay, so because we have to match A and B, naturally our query uh, will be smaller. Okay, the, the results returned, the items returned will, will be fewer, usually. Uh, and in the case of OR, we are going to be expanding our query because we're going to say that it could be A, and this is the symbol for OR uh, in computer language, so A or B, okay? And that means that if their age is lower than 65, or they are female, or both, then they will be returned in our query. So that's important to remember, because when we think of them logically in the English language, Usually AND is more inclusive and OR is more exclusive, but when it comes to queries, it's the other way around. So I'm just going to comment this out. I'm going to leave it here on top just so you can have that visual. Uh, and let's get down to our code. So let's start with AND, okay? And the way AND and OR work is they combine two queries, okay? That means we're going to have this Wix data .query twice. Okay, and we can either, and there's two ways that we can set it up. So I'm going to start off with the less organized way, and then I'm going to show you a slightly more organized way to do and, and or, or. <laughs> um, and in our case, what we're going to do is I'm going to do a, a less than query, okay, for the age of 35, okay, and I'm also going to be looking for people who are uh, have female listed under their gender. And in order to do that, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to add the AND keyword over here. And then within this AND parentheses, I'm going to add another Wix data query. And I'm going to be querying the same, select, the same collection, which is my collection, and then under here, I'm going to say uh, contains. I'm using contains just so that it's not case sensitive. Contains. And then the field that we're talking about is going to be the gender field of my collection. And I'm going to say that that is equal to uh, or contains female. Okay. And then we run our find after we have both of the queries together. So let's format that. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to just run this and show you. So this will run when we click the preview button and click search. So I'm going to click search right over here. And let's take a look at the items that we got back. I'm just going to move this over to the other side. So let's see, uh, here we have someone age 34. Okay, so that's under age 35 and female. Okay, and here we have someone that is age 23 and female and etc. Okay, so here we got a total of seven items back. And if I head back to the editor and I just switch out this and for an or, okay, so remember this is 
more inclusive. So we'll get back anybody who is either less than the age of 35 or their gender is listed as female. So let's check that out. And I'm going to click search and let's see what we got back. So here you see that we got back 50 items, okay, which is much more than seven. Again, because we're being more inclusive, we're expanding our query. Also people who are under 35 and also people who are listed uh, as gender female. And if we check, a, we check it out here, we see that we get a male who is under 35 and we also get females who are under 35 and we should also be getting females who are over 35 because they uh, categorize in the female. So for example, here, this person doesn't even have an age uh, and we got them back in our query. Okay, so that is an example of and and or. And now I'm gonna show you two more things that are worth knowing. So first of all, I'm gonna hop back to the and uh, method. And I'm gonna say here that we actually don't need this full and method here, because in general, when we're using uh, Wix data query, if we list two conditions within a query, okay, so for example, something like this, then naturally this is the same as an and. Okay, so when we have a query that has several conditions, it'll always look for something that is this and this. Okay, so let me show you that. And I'm just going to click search and you'll see here that we got back seven items again. So it did an and uh, query for us. And if I go back to the editor and I was to add more conditions here under it, it would keep on just doing and and refining it more and more and more. Okay, in the case of or, there is a slightly more refined way that we can do it. So I'm just going to head back to when we had, whoops, uh, back here, just reverse our code to where we had the or. Okay, so this doesn't look so great. Uh, and if you had several ors, then it might even be more complicated. So one thing you can do to make your code more organized, uh, not only in the case of or, but in general, when it comes to Wix uh, data queries, and if they get very complex, you can actually store your query in a variable. So I can, for example, declare a variable here, and I'm just going to call it age query. And this query will be equal to this right over here. Okay, so the query that's specific to the age part of my general query. And then I can declare another query that will be my gender query. And that will be just this part of the query. And then I can string them together like so. Just say age query or gender query. And format that. And I can actually just collapse this all over here. Okay, so you see how much more organized that is. And if I just go into preview, then I will search and you'll see that we get back the 50 results that we got back from the OR query the first time. Okay, so that is a little bit about refining and expanding uh, your query using AND and OR. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.